Ancient Tech 2 I shared this right at the beginning of that video and I writ in a text at the bottom that I didn't know if it was new and I went back and studied some images I tried finding it again and I found one at the side of it and it's this one here and if you look on the left you can see something which to me looks like a piece of sandpaper that's been rolled round into a circle yes uh, so looking at what we're looking at the hole in the center there probably somebody got some sandpaper and rolled it around scratched it around in something like sand wet sand and then smothered the entire thing the surface in a clear substance like clear varnish and it hardened into what you're seeing so i'm glad that i put that in there and that's what I'm, the start of this is right we need to i've noticed on the internet that a lot of these channels dealing with this Tartaria stuff have been sharing a lot of images that have been downloaded to Google very, very recently, and most of them are fake. Just because we see black and white images on the net does not mean that they're from, that they're ancient, right? That they were taken a hundred or so years ago. Even on this movie maker, I've got a tool that can turn images black and white, right? And I've also seen lots of image overlaying and copy and pasting. To make images seem more spectacular than what they are. Look, these people have co-opted every single truth movement since I've been doing this. They even co-opted the word woke. You know, when we used to say, are you awake? You're awake. Well, they've co-opted that and turned it into the worst thing possible in my book. So, they, yes, they place people in these movements. Then they move them towards the top in various means and control them from the top, right? So we've got to be wary of all these people. And I will make a video pointing this stuff out. Another one is the use of artwork from these supposed ancient sites. You could look, a lot of this artwork could have been made in very recent history, which it has done in my opinion. We, you know, we've only got to look at a lot of this Egyptian artwork that I've pointed out. It is so bad, it looks like it's been done by archaeologists. Right, the Roman Catholic Church could have been painting a lot of this stuff up, right, for the last few decades. I don't believe any of it. You know, how long does art last? All these maps that just seem to just pop up out of the blue from nowhere just to run alongside this narrative that's been presented, this Tartaria mud flood thing, right? Of course, there's been some event. I showed you it with the video in Rome that were about covered in 20 metres of ash. So some things happened, but not much would have survived, certainly not paper. Now, this is clearly at work. And people go about this art as if somebody's been stood on site and they were cataloging what they saw with their own eyes. No, in my opinion, these things were created hundreds of years later. Somebody just joined down an idea of what may have gone down based on the narrative that they thought how history went, went down. Now, I've shown you the pillar in, I forgot the name of the actual pillar. It's the largest freestanding one in the world in Russia there in Moscow center and the one I saw uh, they were actually building it the pillar it's not a single piece anyway this one shows you that there were some type of building that, that, that they are in this image dismantling there were probably some type of piping that ran down its center and then they built the pillar around it and smothered it in the fake granite substance that I've, I've shown you and then covered that in some type of clear varnish and that's even if this image is real I presented this about a year ago and this will give those that's not seen this channel an example of just the type of technology that the powers that be uh, have got at their disposal this technology that this guy uses there's a few channels like this I've just subscribed to this one is basically only using mobile phone technology iPhone technology and he is able to put somebody else's face, his own face, anybody's face, and merge it with movie characters, right? And have themselves, you know, playing the part. So when we're looking at these events, these fake events on the news, right? You need to keep this kind of stuff in mind because anybody could be playing a part. One person could be playing the whole narrative across many events and put various faces on, not even real faces, just make them up and put them on these things. You need to keep that in mind. I personally have known that nukes have been fake even before starting this channel. You must go back and watch some of these old videos in these deserts by Americans when they were testing these supposed nuclear weapons. 
you know it's like watching the space program with these today's technology it's like watching button moan it's so ridiculous they're obviously blowing up fake models and zooming in on the sun like these videos suggest now at the end of the day something that mankind builds cannot fly beyond certain speeds within this atmosphere if you go look into the blackbird which is the best technology that we have ever built right it can only go a uh, almost up to 2000 miles per hour right and then it starts coming apart at the seams so for these things to shoot up out of the atmosphere into what they call space at 17,000 miles per hour then come through this atmosphere burning up and come down in a different continent when there's not even enough fuel in, in the thing when you look at the size of them even planes you look how much fuel goes into planes and how big they are they still need to land and get refueled so this is just total garbage and i don't even know how they're going to get decent men and women to go and fight for america and all these other countries anymore 